All right, so Dad and I are here. We're gonna start working on the bug, see if we can lift it up at all. Cause we gotta lift the engine up, right? So yeah, we gotta lift up the car to then get underneath it to lift up the engine so they can change the timing belt. And then we have all the other stuff we gotta put back together just, just so we had to pull parts. All right, look at that. Look at that handiwork right there. Holding up this as legally low a vehicle as possible. <laughs> but this is all the parts, new and old. This was one of the main issues that we purchased to replace. Um, so now that's this, like look, yeah, beautiful. And then um, this guy, he's actually pretty good here. Don't see any issues with him. I don't think that we had any issues. We just had to clean them up and yeah, because I'm pretty sure this is the pump. My dad knows what this is. <laughs> I just know that it came off of this and I know where it came from and what it does. I just don't remember what it's called. Um, but then this was one of our main culprits. So this piece and that piece, this one right here was actually stuck inside the hose. This is where one of the leaks was coming from in our coolant system. So we got the brand new one right here. This piece we didn't know was broken, so we had to purchase that. These were also broken, which hold this on, which I don't know where this called it either. But these are little gasket things that slide in back here that hold and mount it to the vehicle. This, all this stuff, this was leaking oil and was completely busticated. Um, so that's the replacement part for it. I don't think we have the other pieces anymore because they were so broken um but yeah this is all the pieces this is all the pools everything is covered in parts but this thing has not been operating for probably two years now and that's just simply because we've been gone so for like example this thing this car i was driving it all the time and then three years ago, I bought my van, my GMC van. I ended up starting to drive that more because this actually had more of a coolant problem that started to show up than normal. So like I could drive a mile and then I had to refuel my coolant, which was insane and cost a lot and it was a whole other problem. And then my van also had coolant issues, which is also a whole other adventure that we went through that we could tell about some other time. Um, so I ended up driving the van more because we got that fixed easily. And this thing right here um, sat on the driveway until we decided to move it here before we went to Florida in 2023 to move Earth Illuminated. Um, so we brought it in here, we parked it in here, we were going to work on it whenever we came back. And we were planning on not being in Florida very long, which turned into a year plus, so um, at least consistently. We were planning on coming back and being between the two. Um, so this, this thing sat here for all of last year. My dad pulled apart some stuff. He found out the issues in some areas and he helped me get the parts. Um, but we didn't, we didn't work on it at all. But now that my dad and I are here, we're getting everything replaced. We're trying to get it moving because we need to get it out of here. That is the answer. We need to get it out of here. And I'd like to be able to drive it with my dad and actually someday be able to do the holes in it to style thing. Like dad and I's vision is to have Zenitsu in his like lightning state on the side here like really cool like he's asleep you know and have it like yellow and the whole thing with the the bug too is the black piece is a wrap on yellow but if you notice it's already chipping off here right and the yellow that is on the car is not exactly the same as the yellow underneath the black so all of these things <laughs> The most important part is getting it running. So that's what my dad and I are working on. But yeah, this is tons of fun. And again, we broke broke the dipstick on accident when we were working on it when my uncle was over here with my cousin Emerson and it completely shattered. And so we figured since the plastic is so thin that even if it got into the engine a little, it shouldn't be a problem. So it's currently plugged up. 
yeah, so this is my Volkswagen Bug. Got it when I was 16 years old. My mom and dad helped me get it. I paid half, they paid the other half, and it's a turbo. I'm pretty sure it's a twin turbo. We're gonna confirm with my dad. But basically, probably was not the best thing for me to have as my first car. <laughs> Just because uh, it gets up to speed fast. It's really fun to drive, like really fun to drive. And so uh, there's a lot of times where I feel like I should have been pulled over. I should have had some issues, but uh, the Lord decided otherwise. And I've learned to drive slower. And it wasn't like I was speeding like over the speed limit. I was just getting up to speed really fast. At least that's how I like to say it. <laughs> um, this thing was one of my favorite things to drive. Oh my gosh, I got it and I was like so excited to go everywhere and anywhere by myself in this thing. I turned up the music. I'm pretty sure I blew out some of the speakers because I didn't know what music was supposed to sound like. I just thought loud was better. Nope. Um, but this thing, yeah. This thing is really fun to work on with my dad. We're trying to turn it into his end too car so you know the character from demon slayer trying to do a whole wrap where it has him like on the lightning on the side up here and super cool the people we bought it from were trying to turn it into pikachu so there's already a lightning bolt and all that so it, it's it's pretty cool and that's why they lowered it which the whole funny thing about this car is that this is as low legally as you can get so like when you take it to the emissions place they have to measure it to make sure it can even get on the emissions test thing and Almost every time I've done that, a guy's been like, you are so lucky, it just barely, just barely gets past that regulation, so. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, though, is the lowering of this vehicle messed up the speedometer in the car because it's lower than it was normally built to be, and so the wheels are not matching the actual speed that it goes, so when it goes below 50 miles an hour, you're going slower than you need to go, and when it goes over 50 miles an hour, you're going way faster than you need to go, and you won't know that, and so that's why we have that digital speedometer installed now. Gloves. <laughs>